All right, we had a little minor interruption. The problem with using a cell phone is when someone calls you, sometimes you lose the video. Okay, so now I'm going to stretch again. Come back up. I'm sitting here holding my breath like it's... Like I'm doing me. while I'm watching. I'm using the rib on the outside to stabilize it. You see how it gets kind of wonky? But when I get to the top, it gets stable again. Now I'm going to... This repeats itself all the time. I'm going to wipe up the water in the bottom. the walls on the outside so that there's no friction. Pick up the water in the bottom again and stretch it a little bit. I already have one I stretched. It's right over there. I'll show it to you in a minute. But it's not nearly as tall as this one. Right. This one's taller. Well, the speed slowed down, way down. Yeah. holding my breath here for <clears throat> so far so good now I just gotta stabilize the top of it a little bit with my chamois well we're getting close yep about done here we go shape it a little bit I'm sitting here holding my breath like somebody on a high rope or something you won't be hitting me on a high rope. No, sir. You mean you don't want to get out there and walk across between two trees it. and walk on a, on a line? I can't even watch them on TV. Now, you would think, you know who's really scared of watching people on a high rope is Bob. <laughs> yeah, I don't like He it. just about has a coronary. Well, you say that. When that guy went across the Grand Canyon, I watched. Yeah, but we decided, and it was lunchtime. We decided we were never watching that again. No, I'm running my lunch. I couldn't eat. <laughs> and you know when something takes an hour? It's hard to hold your breath for an hour. Yeah. What are you doing down there? Trimming off the excess. Ah, okay. And how are you doing that? Putting your knife down needle. there? Is that a knife or a needle? a needle? A needle, okay. This is a knife. Yes, it looks like a knife. This is a needle. Okay. Boy, that could do a lot of damage in a heartbeat. Oh, I had some kids one time when I was teaching in Little Powder, Wyoming. Oh, what was their name? Rudolph, Ru Rudolph and, what was the other boy's name? Tim, mm -hmm. I think. They were horsing around in the art room and we were doing pottery and they were lovable kids. They were really lovable kids. They were in eighth grade and, uh, Rudolph was going like this, walking along, pretending to threaten the other kid, and the other kid go, oh, don't do that, and he put his hand in the needle and impaled the needle, and I heard this girly type scream, ah! and I looked around, and the needle was sticking out the other side of his hand. Oh. They'd accidentally had it. And he and actually he, complained about that? Yeah, yeah. Pretty <laughs> loud. Right? I'll bet. I mean, I'm sure he's like... A 47-year-old, 48-year-old adult now, but um, I'm sure he'd rather he not. Dis like I'd rather he. I'm willing. I'm willing to bet he'd rather not talk about that day. Yeah. <laughs> so they ended 
up over the nurse. I pulled the needle out because I knew there wasn't going to be a lot of blood. But he had his hand all wrapped for a couple of days and nursed it for all he could <coughs> to get sympathy from the girls. And the girls very graciously reminded him if he hadn't been farting around like he was, it wouldn't have happened. <laughs> that is the most dangerous thing I've ever seen in pottery with my students. Is he, had to, he was totally impaled by that needle. And so I remind him, you know, you have to be respectful of what of what you're doing. Now, see, I don't like that little bump right there. So I'm going to take this in here. more graceful like that all right so it's done ta -da -ta -ta. all right and then there's one successful one stretched bowl there two two this morning because that's right that one. and we have another one over there yep excuse so our we, mess <laughs> yeah, this is a pottery studio right in the middle of my house yeah well so, thankfully bob and i are both artists and he's very patient with me and i'm very patient with him because sometimes he has to do his gluing up projects on our dining room table until he can get all of his tables set up out in his shop. So, and he actually started in the bedroom with his doing of the flutes and stuff. So, this is um, old farts returning to what they originally did. We just had to get the horses safe first. And looky here, there we are. There's some turtles. There's some turtles. I'm Dragon. telling you. They're sitting in the sun drying. I'm telling everybody now, pretty soon, you're going to see a picture of her, and I, she, I'm going to buy her a t-shirt. They're going to say, Turtle Lady. <laughs> well, now the kids in my shows used to call me the Hummingbird Lady. But Turtle's fine. I don't care. <laughs> the thing is about the turtles that I kept forgetting to say is, I glaze their, um, I glaze their back shells. And so those are all different colors. With yeah. other colors splattered across. They're very colorful. Well. But the face, I don't glaze What kind of time frame are we looking at on those before you're able to do that, do you think? Probably Wednesday. Okay. Yeah. So we'll check back Wednesday, and that's when they come alive with color. All right. Yep. Here we go. That's how you uh, lift a pot. That's how you lift a pot. Now, I put the string through it. I guess I didn't say it at the time. I r ran the string through it. I'll show you that right quick. To make sure that it's loose. Sometimes you can do this when it's going, but not when it's been stretched. All right. Now you know it's not attached. And that unattaches it, and as it dries. Okay. Now this string, I can't leave it loose over top of wet clay like that because it will slice it in half. Okay. Now tell me, how long do you have to leave it like that before you can pick it up to take it somewhere? Depending on how long it's where it's drying. You know, like this is under the light, and I'm going to move it about every 15 minutes or so by tonight. All right. By tonight, I'll be able to carve it. Okay. Well, we'll be take we'll be back taking the film of uh, how she carves it. All right. This is Bob and Corey at Heartline Ranch saying goodbye. We'll talk to you later. <laughs>